Okay, here's a video on how to replace your um, VTX uh, module, 200 uh, milliwatt module. Okay, this is uh, this came out of the Eosheen Falcon. Um, I know you guys have done this before. Uh, had a crash, tore off your antenna, and by the time you got to uh, got to your your downed drone, it's too late. Your VTX is already fried. So um, this is a uh, uh, tutorial on how to replace that. Uh, first we'll turn on our soldering station here. Get it nice heated up. Going to want to set the temperature pretty hot so I'm going to run it up to about 400 degrees. It's always best to add a little bit of solder to your your iron helps helps wick the, uh, the solder that's on here up a little better. I think it's hot enough for it. Okay, it's getting there. <clears throat> and this is the replacement module. It's a uh, part number FX758-2 uh, from Banggood. Yeah, that's what it looks like, 32 channel module. Alright, so first we're going to remove the, uh, the solder from these contacts so we can free it up. It's got to be nice and hot in order to wick the solder up. Still might be too low on my iron. So let's turn it up a little higher. About 450. You don't want to rest it on here too long because that's going to get it real hot. And it could just pull your pads right up or melt your, uh, your board behind it. You don't have to remove all the solder. Just get some of the main bits of it out of there. Wick some of it out, especially around the antenna port here. That's going to be an issue if we don't get that stuff removed. a lot of solder really this guy right in the middle back here the ground oh, good enough alright turn that off for now all right, now we use our hot air gun and set that up real hot. That's going up to uh, 440 degrees. And we're gonna be melting our solder along both sides. One side first and then we'll gently pry it up with a small screwdriver, or razor blade or something like that.
that to heat up. One side up. There's the other side up. That's done. Okay, let's turn the soldering iron back on. I'm waiting for that to heat up. Now we can turn that down actually. I don't need that hot. Guess at about 350 would probably be good. <clears throat> and see the module has five contacts on one side and six contacts on the other side. Six contacts goes on the side with the antenna. Uh, we're not going to put that on just yet. First, we're going we're gonna to flow some solder. A little bit of solder on these pads. Or just, just get the pads to flow again. That's hot. What I'm doing here is slightly flowing each pad. I'm trying to accomplish is getting the module down flat onto the VTX board.
Now, we need to add a little bit of solder. Make these uh, connections. And you stick your soldering iron in that little hole and then just dab a little bit and flow it up onto the board. Pretty simple. It's important to use good lead-based solder. Not that lead-free crap. That stuff is no good. The person that invented that should be shot. Okay, that's it. That is done. Good to go. Turn off our soldering iron. Now we're going to test it, Let's see if it works. Let's see, let's find an antenna for it. I'm just going to go straight to the camera from the VTX instead of going through the board first and cross us. signal. And there you go. That's it. That's how you replace the module uh, in your VTX if you fried it uh, by, by accidentally uh, not putting your antenna on while you're programming your your uh, your flight controller or or breaking your antenna off or whatever the case so that's it uh, thanks for watching <laughs>